Hey guys, what's up? It's White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolved. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Vileplume, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Pangoro. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week I will be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution for. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comment section down below about what would you keep, what would you change, and etc. And at the end of every video, I will be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Pangoro. Now, I actually had to remake this video because it is August 8th when I'm actually recording this and I was actually supposed to upload this one. But when I was uploading it and uh, when it was processing, usually what I do when my videos process is that I just delete that video that I'm uploading because I don't save any of my old videos like on a backup flash drive because once they're uploaded, they're uploaded. And when Pangoro's moves, uh, Y Mega Ball video is about to be done processing, the file got corrupted and it did not process right. So I lost everything on that. So I had to actually remake this video, which is on the bright side, it actually is good because what I actually put on the old um, Pan Mega Pangoro stat set thing, um, I did not agree with some of it, but um, that gave me actually good time to fix what I wanted to fix. So with that, um, as you can tell, um, that's not a Mega Pangoro per picture per se. That is like the only picture I could find that doesn't have like... It's something different about Pangoro other than regular Pangoro because I, I don't think 6th gen Pokemon have like, have like Mega designs other than probably Diancy. So this is the best picture I can find. So enough of me talking about that. Um, as you can tell, I buffed everything other than its special attack because I say this before and I'll say it again. Pangoro is not a special attacker, nor will it ever will be. And yes, its special attack is at 69 and there's going to be no puns intended, okay? So if you have any dirty minds like me, then uh, you know where 69 is from. Okay, so um, like I said, I did buff everything um, and accept its special attack. Now, in my opinion, Pangoro is probably one of the worst Pokemon to come out of 6th gen, just based off stats, considering that um, I love Pangoro's design, don't get me wrong, but like, come on, base 74 defense, base 71 special defense, 58 speed, I mean, come on, Game Freak should have gave it some more of a buff other than giving it shitty stats, I mean, the only like good stat that it has is its physical attack at base 124 so that's the only thing that's on the bright side that came like that something good that came out of Pangoro so what I wanted to do is that I wanted to actually buff up a lot of its both of its defenses and also make its speed relevant as well while being a very powerhouse Pokemon so that's what I basically did so we're gonna start off with this physical attack so um, for his physical attack, I buffed it from base 124 to base 150. Now, Pangoro already has a base 124 uh, physical attack, which is phenomenal. But I wanted this thing to be even more of a powerhouse because, in my eyes, bear Pokemon, or just bears in general, ex um, including pandas, because that's what Pangoro is, it's just a panda Pokemon, um, have like a lot of power and like basically will basically kill you I guess I don't know how else to explain it but like bears are like very powerful so I want this thing to have a very very high physical attack which I did to give it a base 150 now that's a phenomenal physical attack okay even if you're poison or something like that that like decreases your um stat you will be able to hit hard even though you are probably poisoned tox or burnt or whatever the case may be okay um, but it will help in the long run. Now, for its physical defense, I raised it from base 74 to base 104. Now, like I said before, um, Pangoro is not is probably one of the worst Pokemon to um, come out of 6th gen just based off stats. And at base 74 defense, this thing is just piss poor, basically. And I wanted to give this thing um, a really, really high defense as well. So, I gave it, I jumped it to base 104, hoping that um, it's not going to be above probably like a UU tier or anything like that probably will be in UU, but that's as far as it's going to go, considering that it's fighting Dark type, and that's probably one of the worst combos, just in my opinion, because Dark is probably one of the worst typings out there, because there's a lot of weaknesses, and same thing for uh, fighting, because uh, flying types are very common, and also psychic types, but I don't think psychic types really affect Pangora, considering it is part Dark, 
Um, I'm not sure about that. I really never used a Pink Pearl before, nor a Fighting Dark type Pokemon. So I really am kind of hazy on like what it's weak to. But you guys get the drift. It has just too many weaknesses. And I want this thing to be able to live at least one physical hit from like maybe a Brave Bird or a Close Combat or probably even a Mock Punch, which most likely will live. But I just want this thing to at least live at just one hit and it's pretty much good, okay? Now for its special defense, same thing when I said it for its defense. I wanted this thing to be more of like, uh, have more bulk to its defenses. So I raised it from base 71 to base 97, almost at a base 100. Excuse me real quick, I'm going to take a drink of water. Okay, now... Um, it's not going to be able to take a special hit all that well at base 71 special defense. And it's going to be able to take um, special hits well with that base 97. So that is also on the plus side as well. Now, it's not going to take it as well as maybe a physical attack. But it is better than just base 71 to special defense in general. So 97 isn't bad, but it's bad at the same time, I would say. It's not going to be able to take it as well as you would like to unless you're maybe running... Um, a move that buffs up your special defense. I almost said Assault Vest, but this is a Mega Pangoro. <laughs> okay, so the last stat I actually buffed was its speed from base 58 to base 80. Now, I don't know why Pangoro speed is at base 58. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Same thing for its defenses. I cannot say this enough. Pangoro's stats are just complete shit and just needs to be better. So I buffed it up from base 58 to base 80. So then it will be able to... um outspeed some of like the mediocre speedy type Pokemon out there I believe like Breloom and stuff like that so that is very relevant or it I wouldn't say relevant but it actually is needed for a good speed increasement for its speed now regular Pangoro has a base at a 495 which is phenomenal in my opinion but it's not the best but it's phenomenal um, I would say I don't know how else to say it but um when it has, when upon Mega Evolution, its new base that's going to be at 595, which is going to be phenomenal. There we go. <laughs> okay, so it's actually not that bad at base 595, almost at base 600. I think, like in my opinion, that if Pangoro didn't get a Mega, its base that should have been at least 530, maybe even 550, somewhere around there, because it needs a huge jump to its um, defenses as well. So um, that's just my opinion now for its ability. I decided to give it quick feet. Now, this is part of the reason, or um, I would say, uh, a lucky, uh, something lucky, because like when my video did not pr uh, process, I actually changed the ability. Now, I gave this thing scrappy at first, but I actually was looking through Ursaring and I saw um, quick feet. And I was like, yo, Pangoro would work great with quick feet. Now, if you don't know what quick feet does, Basically, when you're inflicted with a status condition, um, burn, toxic, and or paralysis, paralysis, your speed does not get um, decreased with quick feet. And um, basically, you have a choice scarf on when you're inflicted with a status condition. So that is also a good thing as well, because with a base 150 um, physical attack, your opponents are going to want to, your opponent is going to want to at least inflict a status condition to where... Um, you'll wither down if your opponent cannot knock you out. So that is also on a plus side because um, giving this thing quick feet with a base 80 speed and you times 80 times 1.5, that's going to be your new base stat or speed stat. So let me just do the math for you. Okay, so 80 times 1.5, your speed stat is going to be at 120. Okay, so that's basically having a choice scarf on. Um, I don't think that's the base. Uh, Stat. I think that's just going to be like, um, your base. Yeah, base stat. So um, you're going to have like a base 120 speed. So that's also good. And for its typing, I decided to leave it as dark fighting. Um, there's no other um, typing I can actually give this thing to make it more better, I would say, because um, based off its design, obviously it is a dark type. And obviously it is a fighting type considering it looks like, like some hustler you would see like in the corner or something like that or a gangster or a mobster something like that just based off its design so dark fighting is probably its best typing you can give it unless maybe you can drop the fighting type and probably give this thing maybe the ground type characteristics characteristics or rock type characteristics something even better because um dark fighting is probably one of the weakest or has more weaknesses than probably any other 
combination of typings just in my opinion from what I see so anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this wide mega evolve video don't forget to leave me a like comment and subscribe um, next week we are going to be talking about mega dust snore yes mega dust snore one of my favorite ghost types Pokemon out there as of right now and I really want that thing to have a mega and omega ruby and sapphire so like I said, next week we're going to be talking about Mega Dust Snore. If you guys enjoyed this Why Mega Evolve video, don't forget to leave me a like. And also don't forget to give me a comment and subscribe. I am White Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later.